In this video, we are going to talk about how Pakistan Air Force is expanding its air-to-air -air reach and strike capacity with JF-17 Thunder Block 3, an enhancement of electronic warfare with JF-17 Thunder Block 3. And we are also going to talk about how PAF will achieve air dominance with J-10C, and how J-10C will be a true swing roll aircraft for PAF. So there's a lot of information to know in this video. So make sure to stick to the whole video it will really be worth watching the video. With the induction of the JF-17 Block 3 and of J-10Cs, the PAF will add a lineup of new air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface munitions, and other systems that may stir major tides in regional dynamics, but not through many smaller, subtle moves but rather a big sweeping act. However, there is no doubt that the results of swift retort left an impression on the PAF leadership, with Air Headquarters AHQ looking to build upon what worked but at scale. In other words, the goal is likely to deploy a swift retort-like response across several fronts and, potentially with greater individual impact compared to the operation the PAF had carried out in February 2019. As we know with the induction of JF-17 Thunder Block 3, one of its first advantage will be its PL-15 missile. The PL-15 Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air missile is the likely cornerstone of the PAF's efforts to improve its engagement capabilities. The PL-15 reportedly has a range of more than 170 kilometers, a major increase to the range of SD-10 and AIM-120. However, the range would not only be one of its improvements over the SD-10 and AIM-120. The PL-15 leverages China's technology advances from the past decade, so it has improved defensibility to electronic countermeasures and electronic counter-countermeasures or ECCM. The PAF is seemingly adding more strike-capable assets through the JF-17 Thunder Block 3. To be more specific the PAF is basically integrating various standoff weapons to the JF-17 Thunder Block 3. In fact, the JF-17 is already capable of deploying certain standoff weapons, namely the C-802A anti-ship missile, CM-400 AKG missile, an indigenous range extension kit precision guided bomb kit. However, the PAF also looking to add heavier air-launched cruise missiles like the ROD series and supersonic cruising missile HD-1A. The PAF is also investing in its electronic warfare, especially self-protection jamming via electronic countermeasures. The JF-17 Block 3 will have an integrated ECM suite. The PAF also inducted a new dedicated self-protection jamming pod, reportedly named KG-600, for use on Block 2. Using spoofing and other techniques, electronic countermeasures will help to protect the aircraft from enemy radar threats, such as missile seekers. Pakistan has long expressed interest in the advanced J-10 as part of ongoing efforts to replace its aging fleet of F-7, and mirages as PAF continues to adapt and modernize warfighting capabilities. The acquisition would mark a major milestone making it the most modern and capable fighter in the Pakistani fleet. J-10C is a capable platform with advanced avionics and is able to conduct multiple air-to-air, -air, and air-to-ground operations, making it a valuable addition to PAF's inventory. The induction will also help regain the balance of power in the region, which had been adversely affected by the induction of Rafale jets by the Indian Air Force. Pakistan is expected to buy the latest J-10C model, which has Chinese-built WS-10 engine and features AESA radar and compatibility with extended-range PL-15 BVR missiles. The J-10C will help PAF to achieve air dominance, and conduct suppression and destruction of enemy air defense missions, to disrupt and destroy adversary air defense systems. J-10C features a true swing roll capability as it is able to swing between air-to-air -air combat, anti-surface, and ground attack roles. That's what I've got for you today. 
If you like this video, like it or share it with your friends. Press the bell icon to get notified as the new video lands on the channel and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.